Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. We're going to do part two. Uh, we're going to bring you Super Group Matias and Liam Paro tomorrow. Uh, but today I want to do part two of Frank Martin and Tank Davis. I told y'all when the props are going to come out, uh, we're going to break it down. Uh, we're going to do a video show you how to make money on props. So that's what I want to do in this video. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes out for every single major fight. So you have to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money consistently betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies. Um, look, guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. You're going to get the lock of the week, which we hit every single week. Um, the, the Patreon is just five dollars a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you ask the bookie anything. Ask me a handicap, a fight, break down a fight. It gets all all the perks and more. Just five dollars a month, guys. Just the lock of the week is going to make you hundreds or thousands of dollars every week, depending on how you how much money you bet. Um, and it only costs you five dollars a month. So this is a no brainer, guys. Uh, let me know. What you, uh, also, join the other channel link. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, that's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right, y'all. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Um, the props on Frank Martin and, and Javante Davis, like we talked about in the first video, there's two possibilities one i think is a slightly more possible than the other uh, but i would put it at about 55 45 uh, i would say there's about a 55 ch percent chance javonta tank davis knocks out frank martin there's a and there's a 45 percent chance frank martin wins a decision so how are we going to bet on this you know when frank martin was paying plus 450 plus 425 plus 475 whatever you had in your book when you locked it in you're running a little bit of a risk. I'd say you're running slightly better than a 50-50, slightly worse than a 50-50 chance of losing your money. So what I want to do is, here's how I really want you to bet this fight. And guys, don't put this fight in your parlay. If you're parlaying this, this could kill your parlay. This is a very tough fight to bet. Uh, because like I said, there's, there's two possibilities. Giovanni Davis figures out the, the, the timing and the speed of Frank Martin, and he stops him. When I say that he hasn't fought anyone with speed like this, foot speed, hand speed, and skills like Frank Martin, he hasn't. Not even close. The closest he ever came was Gamboa, and Gamboa pushed him about 11 and a half rounds, if you remember, right? It took him to the 12th round. And Gamboa still doesn't, shine, doesn't hold a candle to Frank Martin. So there's a real possibility that uh, Frank Martin goes the distance. If Frank Martin goes the distance, he's going to win the fight because Javante Davis can't outbox Frank Martin. Frank Martin's a master craftsman. He's good at all three levels. He's got excellent footwork. He's not going to stand in front of you. He's not going to get hit. He's not going to get knocked down a bunch. He's durable, good combination, good volume. He's going to win rounds because he's going to outwork him and he's going to, and he's going to make Javante miss. Javante has given rounds away with Hector Garcia. He's given rounds away with Leo Santa Cruz. He's given rounds away with Ryan Garcia. He's given uh, rounds away with Isak Cruz. He gives rounds away. If he gives rounds away, if he gets behind on Frank Martin, there's no catching up unless he scores a variety of knockdowns, in which case he'll probably stop him because Javante Tank Davis hits like a sledgehammer. So if he's, if he's knocking him down with big shots, eventually he's going to stop him. That's why I say there's really two possible outcomes to this fight. Davis by stoppage. Frank Martin on points. So let's hedge this bet. Our, our, our big bet is going to be $100 on Davis by KO. If that hits, we make $55.55. $56. We're going to make a smaller bet and hedge. Frank Martin by decision or technical decision. Right, Frank Martin on points. Put half your normal bet, cut it in half, because this pays so well. A $50 bet would make you $350. A $50 bet would make you $350. Now, you're going to lose $100 because Frank Dave, uh, 
Javante Davis didn't win by stoppage. Does that make sense? So you're hedging your bet here. If Javante Davis wins, you're going to walk away with a couple bucks, right? You're basically going to, going to push. But that hedges you from what has a real chance of happening, which is your payday, is that Frank Martin wins by decision, which is paying 700 So of the two possibilities, you can either walk away with a couple of bucks or walk away with a lot of money. Five times your bet, right? Because you're betting 150 or three times your bet, right? Yeah, three times your bet. Those are your two, your two choices. This is how you bring down the house. If Javante Davis wins by stoppage, you still win. So the only way you don't hit here is if Frank is if Tank Tank Davis wins by knockout. Because we all know Frank Martin's not going to stop Tank Davis. Okay, if Frank Martin wins, he's going to have to win from the outside. He's going to have to use his angles. He's going to have to use his speed. He's, it's going to go decision. If Javante Davis wins the decision, which I don't think he can. As he struggled to get a decision over Isak Cruz. Isak Cruz can't box like Frank Martin. Javante Davis gives rounds away looking for the knockout. Now, he has gotten it every single time but twice, right? He, he went the distance uh, with Cruz, and he went the distance with uh, Jermaine Marez really early in his career. That's it. Other than that, he's always gotten a stoppage. If he doesn't, like I said, he's going to get so behind trying to get the stoppage that he's going to lose. That He, he can't – if he gets down, like, let's say this, we're five rounds and he's down four to one, he's lost the fight. Because at that point, he'd have to outbox – he'd have to win seven of the next eight rounds with one. He can't do that. He's not a bad fighter, boxer off the box, back foot. He's a high IQ guy, high IQ fighter. He's got good skills off the back foot. He showed this in the last round of the East Side Cruz fight. In, in, in a round, a lot of people, spectators, thought he had to win. And he won it going away boxing. He can do it. He can't do it better than Frank Martin. He can do it better than Isak Cruz. He can do it better than Ryan Garcia, perhaps. He can't outbox Frank Martin. If he gets behind on uh, Frank Martin, Frank Martin's speed and skill and angle are going to be too much for him to, to overcome. He's going to have to stop him. He's going to have to get inside and stop him. If he can't, he's going to lose. So this these bets make a lot of sense. And this is what I'm saying. You can bring down the house. So th that's the bet, guys. 55-55, uh, you, you would make on a $100 bet if, if Davis wins by KO. Or if Frank Mart wins by decision, a $50 bet makes you $350. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, join the Patreon link is in the description. It's also in the uh, ticker below. It is June 11th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.